Welcome to the Arizona Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with Michael Lev. Hey, Ryan. Welcome back to the studio, by the way. Long time no see. I know. You've been busy out covering not only U of A baseball, but spring football. The Wildcats wrapped up what seemed to be a five-month-long spring football camp uh, earlier this week. Uh, first of all, let's look back a little bit. What are kind of your big takeaways from uh, their time uh, playing and practicing. Yeah, well, I think the biggest takeaway is that things are changing on the defensive side of the ball. Um, new scheme, new coaches, new attitude, new techniques. The question, though, is how much of a difference is it going to make in year one? Um, there's only so much they can do about the talent level of the players who are available. Um, I think it's going to require some really in in. Uh, ingenious scheming right. to make this defense better than what it was last year. Um, obviously things were really bad. There's only one way to go and that's up. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I think it's going to be a, you know, a work in progress throughout the season. Well, and I think that your average fan probably knows more about offense than about defense. If this were a new offense coming in, I think your average fan would sit there and go, you know, probably shouldn't judge them based on one spring or even based on one season. Defense, even more so than offense, I think, is a work in progress trying to find the right fits, bringing in the right, the right personnel. Yeah, it is. And, you know, one of, the, one of the ideas behind all the changes that Rich Rod made was to beef up recruiting. You know, he looked at the big picture of things, uh, the types of players that they had on defense, realized they didn't have enough playmakers. They didn't have enough athletes. They didn't have enough size. And they really still don't have those things. Right. It's going to take a couple of recruiting cycles to bring in the kind of players that he wants. Mm -hmm. um, I do think, and we hear this all the time, anytime a new defensive coordinator comes in, I think they will be more aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're going to mix things up a lot. They're right. going to show a lot of different looks to opposing offenses, mm -hmm. try to confuse them. Mm -hmm. um, they have some versatile players like Paul McGlure who can maybe do some different things. So you can move him around. Mm -hmm. You know, I have some concerns, though, about um, the size and depth of that front seven. Um, I, I think they could get pushed around. They want to they wanna stop the run and force teams to be one-dimensional. I just don't know if they're going to be able to do that. Sure. Switching sides of the ball here, you, you had a great story the other day about Anu Solomon. You know, the coaches have said, you know, this is an open competition, and that's coach speak. But Anu Solomon himself has said, I didn't really play well enough in, in spring. It seems like he's putting a lot of pressure on himself. I mean, is there a chance that this is an open competition for real starting in August? I think there is a chance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, like you said, it's sort of coach speak on some level. They always say that about every position. There are no starters. Right. We want competition, um, which is a good. It's just a good thing to have. You know, I used to cover USC. Pete Carroll's whole program was based on competition every single day. Right. Um, it, you know, it's sort of what they say that it raises the level of all boats, or right. however that that phrase goes. So, I think if if it uh, produces the effect of Anu Solomon plays better. Mm -hmm then it was worthwhile to, 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 to sort of frame it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if Brandon Dawkins beats him out, he, he will have had to beat him out. Right. You know, this is not where a thing where they're starting on the same level. Mm -hmm. You know, Anu Solomon has to kind of, or Brandon Dawkins has to beat him out mm -hmm. for Solomon to lose that job. So I do think it's a real competition. I think it's a storyline that definitely bears watching in training camp. Sure. Real quick here, we only have a, a couple seconds left, but what position group impressed you the most during spring? I think they have a good group of wide receivers. I know they lost a lot um, with uh, David Richards and mm -hmm. Caleb Jones and mm -hmm. Johnny Jackson, but uh, Nate Phillips and Samaji Grant, I think, are two of the most reliable, established, experienced players they have. And I think Trey Griffey has a lot of upside. And I also think there are some really promising young guys there. So to me, wide receiver, even though they lost some people, really good shape in that position. Tony Ellison, could we see some Tony Ellison? We could, That'd absolutely. Cool. That would excite you? Yes, it would. It, it would excite me very much, yes. Uh, well, that'll do it for this episode of the Arizona Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. For Michael Lev, by the way, they, Pete Carroll would have called today Competition Tuesday, yes? Uh, is it Tuesday? I think so. Are we supposed to let them know that it's Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, but he had names for everything. He would, he? yes, competition Tuesday and turnover Wednesday and no repeat Thursday, so right. yes. And then what, tell, yeah. tell the truth, tell the truth. Tell the truth Monday, Monday, I think. When they watched the film? Yeah, exactly, that's right. Oh, Pete Carroll, he had, he had a phrase for everything. He still does. Still does, still yeah. does. I'm Ryan Finley, we'll see you next time. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.